The city ended the year with a $2 million overall operating surplus from last year's budget, which will be put into reserves. Mayor Gerald Albers is happy to have that cushion, with COVID-19's impact set to be felt in provincial grants starting next year. Having some reserves always makes me feel a little bit better, knowing that uh, we don't know what is coming around the bend next, and we still have one more provincial budget. I'll remind uh, the listeners that we have one more provincial budget to go, and uh, that could uh, certainly send us in a little different direction. Last year, the city lost $6.7 million in revenue, including $2.2 million from recreation and culture alone, as facilities closed or were restricted. The city offset the losses by cutting operational costs and through provincial grant funding. Financial planning is one of the items that was strongly discussed in 2016 during the election. I think we heard it very clearly again in 2020, putting the city on a financial stability uh, footing that was solid, ensuring that every time that we, we needed money, we didn't have to go back to the taxpayers. This year's budget has been referred to as a bare-bones budget by many members of council with the city scaling back spending in response to the pandemic. As we've talked about this, everyone asks when's COVID over, I don't have an answer for that. So we'll continue to deal with that as best as we can and ensure that we deliver the services that the community is looking for. Multiple construction projects are in the 2021 budget, including repaving a portion of Highway 16 this summer. Eric Bay, Primetime Local News.